Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your December monthly reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscribe subscriptions if you guys are interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below make sure you're clicking on that link in the description box cancer if you are interested as there are many tarot card impersonators about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever on youtube don't forget to comment i want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live all right so I have the Celtic crosshair cancer and your present moment I'm gonna go through each of the cards quickly and then get back to um, clarifying okay so your present moment is the two of cups your challenge is the moon your past is the five of wands your future is the Empress What's above you? What is it that you want to manifest? The King of Wands. What's in your subconscious? Your Fool card. The Fool card. What is your advice, Cancer, from Spirit? Is the Four of Cups. The exterior influences is the Nine of Pentacles. Your hopes and fears is the Six of Cups. Very interesting. And your outcome is the Ten of Wands. So let's get cracking with this spread. This is interesting because I love your present moment. It seems like, you know, you're feeling love. If you're not experiencing this with somebody, you're really feeling it, which tells me you're going to attract it. So let's, let's see what's going on here. You could be doing something that you love, but you're embodying love. This is also a soulmate connection. It's a very strong connection. We have the two of pentacles. Ooh, are you, you may be juggling two people or trying to balance your life here. The high priestess, the crescent moon cats. And the chariot, the chariot of Osiris. So some of you could be moving, okay? Or you could have recently moved here. You're following your intuition, which I love. You're really connecting with your inner self. You could be meditating more often right now, but I feel like this may have prompted it, this balancing act, right, of possibly work and love. You do have work as your outcome, which is uh, interesting. All right, so your challenge is the moon card, and I feel like your challenge is to dig deep within you. Take this high priestess to a whole new level to see what's hidden within you. It could be something that's hidden that you spirit wants you to uncover. Let's see. Why is the moon the challenge? The four of cups. That's interesting because that is your advice here. All right, there may be an opportunity that you're getting and you're not noticing it. And this is why this is the in the advice position. You're often never, never land. Why is the four of cups here? The fool. It's sort of blocking you from a particular direction. Now, this could be work, love, both. Something that you love. It could be something creative here. It's like, do you know the Seven of Swords, the Thief and the Knights? Ooh, are you not noticing somebody being sneaky? Because that's the other thing that I'm getting. All right. So with the Moon card, the Moon, which is your card too, can be about things that are hidden, right? But they could be hidden within you or hidden within somebody else that spirit's wanting you to notice. So what are you keeping from yourself? Or 
is there somebody around you that's being sneaky sneaky and you intuitively know this but you're ignoring it and sort of being being the fool like i'm going to take a leap of faith anyway i'm going to clarify the seven of uh swords again why is the seven of swords here what does this have to do with the emperor the ruling father this could have to do with a father being sneaky sneaky or you uncovering something that was sneaky sneaky this could be about an aries with the emperor hmm very interesting i feel like it's something you don't want to see about a person about this emperor this doesn't have to be your lover right this could be an elder like a father a grandfather a masculine figure that you look up to right somebody the emperor is somebody in control somebody who owns a business somebody who you know but the negative side of an emperor is control so is the emperor trying to control you in some way and you're not seeing it you're just looking the other way that's what i'm getting with the fool and the seven of swords like yeah i don't want to see that so i'm not going to look at it like putting your head in the sand so to speak very interesting so tell me about the past the five of um, wands is in the past and this is the ace of wands is clarifying it so you could have had a lot of people <laughs> vying for your intention competing for you right in in love wow the ace of pentacles yeah you had many 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 opportunities in love in the past i don't know if you necessarily took them yeah see the seven of cups you had many opportunities which may have left you in confusion but i feel like you just felt like the right one wasn't there in the past you know sort of just waiting dreaming of the right one I do feel you'll find the right one in the two of cups and like i said you may be with this person you may be coming into contact with this person because i don't feel i honestly don't feel the seven of swords is the one that you're with in love i mean it could be especially if they have aries in their chart but all right let's see the future is the empress so the future is you know it could be a taurus or a libra it could be um because this is a mother right you have the emperor which is the father the empress which is the mother so some of you could be getting pregnant getting somebody pregnant so if you don't want to then wrap it up wow so we have the queen of cups the ace of cups and the star seed oh my gosh so if you have not found love yet this is your love this is an abundance of love somebody who's very intuitive here i feel like the yeah wow so there's a lot of love coming your way and this is somebody that is soul family okay this could literally be a mother and i say that because you have the father there in which case still is your soul family here which i've really i've never gotten um not that i didn't get soul family but like um well your your family is your soul family but i feel like uh i don't know there's something about this connection here all right who is this empress to cancer let's see Ooh, the split regrets I feel like this empress is somebody who can show you the positive within the negative of a past love relationship possibly if you've gotten your heart broken or can sort of heal something there's this healing capability of this person that can heal your heart with the ace of cups here and ignite your third eye that's cool all right what's above you what you want to manifest is the king of wands so it could be a fire sign aries leo sag that you're wanting to manifest or that will manifest 
the Knight of Pentacles could be an earth sign, the Aztec warrior, strength, the lion and the cobra. So, hmm, and hidden inner strength, the shadow cat. So there's something about this Aries, Leo, Sag, or earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Cap, that you're going to need inner strength for. Maybe that's where this Empress comes in, if this isn't your lover here. Finding strength. And I feel like one of the ways that you're going to find strength, Cancer, in this relationship or choosing to go forward is by taking it slow. Just be aware because the Four of Cups is here. You know, the Four of Cups is the universe trying to um, offer you something. Okay, and you're like in Never Never Land not seeing it. Some sort of opportunity. Tell me about the Fool for Cancer. The Ten of Swords, the Barren Desert. This is in your subconscious. There's something that you want to let go of in order to take a leap of faith. So you have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Father of Rises. And the Ten of Cups, the joyous sky. It's like you want emotional fulfillment. You know there's something you need to let go of. You want stability. You want reliability here with the King of Pentacles. You're wanting abundance. But again, in order to take that leap of faith, there's something you need to let go of. And that's that Five of Cups slash Empress who can help you do just that. That may be why this is coming in. Hmm. Interesting. Cancer, your advice is the Four of Cups. So let's see what this is about. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's something. There's an opportunity that you have that's very fortunate, but you have to realize it. You have to notice it with the Wheel of Fortune here. The Six of Swords, the brand new journey. So it may be an opportunity if it's in work to move with the Six of Swords, but it's an opportunity to move on to um, more of a state of peace within the Hierophant, the Master of Keys, Taurus energy, an opportunity for higher spiritual evolution here. Wow. This is very lucky for you. But again, spirits like you need to move to where it's at, but you got to notice it. You've got to, I feel like you need to meditate. You need to search for that peace within because you're going to change your energy, thus changing what comes into your reality or what you, you know, something that's been there the whole time, but you haven't really noticed. So tell me about the nine of pentacles. That's the exterior influences. This is about being single, ready to mingle. You may have a lot of single people around you if you're coupled. Uh, this is about abundance. I feel like the, it's a positive influence, though, because I feel like the people that are around you are confident, abundant. The Two of Swords, the Blind Seal. Ooh, El Temperance, find a balance. Okay, so what I feel with this exterior uh, influence here, Cancer, is there could be too much of a focus on money rather than who you are, which is the Queen of Cups, right? Which is that emotional stability, which is uh, the heart space. Because the Two of Swords can be a feeling of stuck or choice. It's like choosing to just focus on money and not really balancing. Because it's within the balancing where magic happens, where you can manifest your dreams. They have one more for the Nine of Pentacles, exterior influences, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, it, more of the same. It's it's just, yeah, spirits like, you gotta be careful of the outside influences that the focus isn't too much about the self, um, like money, the, the tangible. Okay, it needs to be, all right, I'm hearing focus on what you desire in your heart space, not what you desire materially. 
all right? So your hopes and fears is the Six of Cups, which is finding a soulmate, which is really that innocent feeling of love, that sweet love. Tell me about the Six of We have the Four of Swords, the Sacred Space. Yeah, it's like you're afraid to look within and the Empress, the Alchemical Mother. And we have the King of Wands, the Glowing White Stag. So yeah, Six of Cups is about reminiscing over the past, right? It could be about somebody of the past wanting to reunite, right? And really, it could be somebody you're not communicating with with the Four of Swords, but you could be meditating on this, right? Wanting to take action, wanting something to happen and manifest. The King of Wands is all about manifestation, right? So it's like you hope it, but you fear it at the same time. So in your future, and you know this will expand this this will expand you, right? Your being. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Oops. The Moon. The Silver Shadow Reflection. Two more. The Page of Swords, the Sword Bearing Sister. That's about looking within again. And one more. If you had a question, the answer is no. And I feel like this Ten of Wands here, Cancer, has to do with putting too much focus on work and less on love. There needs to be a balance here. So spirit saying, no, you need to stop. You need to look within. You need to connect to the heart space, okay? And ask yourself what it is that you desire on a heart level, on a soul level, not on a material level. Connect with your intuition, okay? That intuitive prowess that you have. You're very intuitive and you're very nurturing. You need to nurture the self. And it's interesting that the Empress is showing up here because it is a mother. <laughs> I was just getting to in your hopes and fears here. You could be fearing and hoping for um, a child if you're wishing to be pregnant because the Empress is about fertility here. Wow, Cancer. All right, so let's get advice. Advice for you. The Three of Wands, the creative fine prison. So I feel like Spirit saying, be optimistic about your future. Know that everything that you desire is on its way to you. But remember, in the Three of Wands, if you look at the regular Rider weight, you have water there, right? Water is emotion, and that is you, Cancer. That's intuition, that's feeling. So they're wanting you to feel your way through through this experience, right? Of the love that's coming to you, of everything that you're doing, of work. What are you doing for work? Is it emotionally fulfilling you? I'm getting that as well. But there needs to be an optimistic attitude, okay, with the Three of Wands. Let's see what the Oracle has to say here. Advice, insights, see beyond appearances, masks, cliches, and cultural stereotypes to gain insight. That's that four of cups here in spirit's advice, okay? I feel like there's something you're missing that's so beneficial to you and that can bring you so much luck with the wheel of fortune here. And it may have to do with work. It may have to do with something creative. That's what I'm getting. This is number 70. Seven is a very spiritual number, okay? So it may even have to do with something spiritually creative, something that really mm, evokes something within your soul, right? Very soulful expression of you here. All right, so let's get an angel number for the month of December. Okay, 44, I am supported. Yes, the universe is supporting you. 
Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. Yes. So stay on path, but stay aware. Don't miss opportunities that are happening around you because you have them in life and you have them in business and you have them within for awareness of the self. Okay. All right, Cancer, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on that link as there are many tarot card impersonators about the community and know that you will always see my face on video if you order a reading from me as well as receive an unlisted link that will take you to your reading here on YouTube that will be available to you forever and ever. So don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit the notification bell. You have a wonderful December and happy holidays. I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.